I, I am he who comforts you. Who are you that you are afraid of man who dies, of the son of man who is made like grass, and have forgotten the Lord, your Maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth, and you fear continually all the day, because of the wrath of the oppressor, when he sets himself to destroy? And where is the wrath of the oppressor? I, I am he who comforts you. Why then are you afraid of a mere mortal who must die, a human being who fades like grass? You have forgotten the Lord, your Maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. You fear continually all day long because of the fury of the oppressor who is bent on destruction. But where is the fury of the oppressor? I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you fear mere mortals, human beings who are but grass, that you forget the Lord your Maker who stretches out the heavens and who lays the foundations of the earth, that you live in constant terror every day because of the wrath of the oppressor who is bent on destruction? For where is the wrath of the oppressor? I, yes, I, am the one who comforts you. So why are you afraid of mere humans who wither like the grass and disappear? Yet you have forgotten the Lord, your Creator, the one who stretched out the sky like a canopy and laid the foundations of the earth. Will you remain in constant dread of human oppressors? Will you continue to fear the anger of your enemies? Where is their fury and anger now? It is gone." I, I'm the one comforting you. What are you afraid of, or who? Some man or woman who will soon be dead? Some poor wretch destined for dust? You've forgotten me, God, who made you, who unfurled the skies, who founded the earth. And here you are, quaking like an aspen before the ta tantrums of a tyrant, who thinks he can kick down the world. But what will come of the tantrums?'